Y'all might think they're ugly, but I like them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today's video is going to be a huge accessories video. Just some accessories that I've been picking up and that I've been loving for the spring that can also transition into summer. But before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say thank you to JBW for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I couldn't do an accessories video without including my JBW watch. It is one of my go-to, one of my staples, and this is the Mink. I've been wearing this for Honestly, like the last two months straight, every time I get dressed, I immediately go straight for my mink. I love the silhouette of this watch. I love everything about it. It just looks so good. And every time I wear it and I go somewhere, I do get compliments on it. So that's how I know, okay, she's hitting. But this is the mink. Like I said, it has 12 genuine diamonds and it is surrounded by crystals. So it just has that nice bling. If you're not too big on, you know, a lot of ice or a lot of bling, JBW still obviously has something for you. They have so many different options. On their site and as you guys know this right here is the storage box for your watch it keeps it nice and safe i literally store all of my jbw watches in their little home right here and i make sure that i keep them nice and safe on top of my dresser with all of my jewelry and all my other time pieces as well but i like to keep my time pieces in here so that i can keep them nice and safe and secured and i know exactly where to go to find them so like i said i will have my coupon code here on the screen and i will also have everything down below as far as the link and the coupon code as well for to save some money on your purchase definitely head over to jbw and get you guys a time piece okay you're not going to regret it i can't tell you how many times I have recommended this and so many people are just like sis thank you because i love 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 my jbw timepiece so definitely go ahead and check out jbw i will have everything linked below and with all of that being said we're gonna get right into hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title and the beginning of the video i'm going to be doing a huge accessories haul i like to do these every so often i feel like my last one was maybe about six months ago this video right here you guys loved it i had so much stuff in that video and it was it was a lot okay so we're gonna get right into it give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys like the accessories videos i like to show you guys the accessories that i get over time because i get a lot of questions about my accessories and i feel like accessories are hella important and if i say accessories one more damn time okay anyways we're gonna get right into the video because i don't want this to be hella long so let's go so the first thing i'm gonna start off with are all of the bags that i've gotten within the last basically let's say the beginning of the year so the very first item i have quite a few of them i get a lot of questions about these bags so these are the bags that i'm referring to they are the heart shaped tote bags and i love these bags so much this is like one of my go-to movie bags because it's a lot of room it's very soft it has like a plush kind of feel to it and it fits a lot of stuff in it a lot as you can see it's a pretty decent size and it's just so cute it's a little heart i've gotten so many compliments when i've worn these out and these are the colors that I wear quite often. So that's why I went for these, but she does have a bunch of other colors as well. I have this burnt orange one. Of course, I had to get the black one. And then I have this really pretty, I cannot wait to wear this one. I haven't worn this one yet, but summer is right around the corner, sis. I'm gonna be rocking this really soon. This is the like mustard yellow. And then I have the gray because it's like a basic. And then I have this burgundy, color and then obviously this color which is the one that you guys have seen the most so here are the furry versions of those bags and she actually did a drop last week of a blue furry one and i believe this one i'm not really sure but i know one of them was blue i didn't get it because i still haven't worn these yet and i didn't want to get another bag that i had to add on top of all the other ones that i haven't worn yet so i got this one and this red one which i wanted to wear so bad on valentine's day and do a really cute post but i wasn't able to put together an outfit that i felt like did this bag justice and this is like the statement piece anyways for the outfit so i was just kind of stumped on what to wear so i just ended up not wearing it or taking any photos or anything but yeah this one is like a purplish color and then it has a mixture of like black fur i'm sure y'all can see that yeah all right so next up i have two bags from ndg paris and i had one of these bags in my last video it was my red paisley birkin style bag so i ended up getting this one 
like a couple weeks ago when they dropped. The first time they dropped the black one, I completely missed it because the time difference. So this one I just love because y'all know I love black. I get everything that I love in black. So I had to get this in black. I didn't want the, the same size as the red one because I just thought this one was so cute. And then I also got another one. Okay, so next up we have this one right here. And as you can see, it is ginormous. So I ordered this bag a little while ago, right? And I didn't order this bag. I didn't order this size and I didn't order this color. And I was sent this size and this color. So I was like, am I tripping? So I went to my order and I was like, yeah, this is definitely not the bag that I ordered. So I don't know where I'm gonna wear this to. I'll probably never wear this like out and about because it's just too damn big. Maybe traveling, but even still, it's a little bit too big. I don't know. It's nice. It's a nice bag, but it's just way too big. So yeah, when they do another drop, I'm gonna try to get more colors because I really like these bags. They are a little bit on the pricier side, I guess. They're like 250, 300 up there. So yeah. So y'all know I couldn't do an accessories video without including a Telfar bag. So I haven't been too crazy about getting every single bag recently. You guys know I posted on my Instagram that I'm probably gonna be selling a lot of them um what is it june july probably maybe in june or july i'm still debating so follow me on instagram and turn on your story notifications or just your notifications in general because that's where i'm going to post it when i do decide to sell some but i am going to be selling quite a lot of them i have about not gonna lie 50 maybe more of them and there's some sizes that i just don't really wear or don't ever wear they still have the tags never been even touched or opened or anything like that so follow me on instagram and turn on your notifications because i will be selling a lot of colors very soon so the first one that i have here is the mustard i got it in small because i don't know i just really wanted the small one i definitely wanted the medium one as well but i don't know if i just didn't even try i don't know exactly what happened when i was on the website with these drops i just ended up getting the small one but yeah this one i did post on my instagram like a couple maybe a month ago i don't know but yeah i posted this on instagram you guys love that picture thank y'all so much for the love but this one is just so cute i love this color so much so i went ahead and got the drab colorway i got this one in small and medium as you can clearly see they are fresh out okay i literally got these in the mail on sunday and it is tuesday so yeah i got these on sunday and i was like perfect right in time for the video so these I really love. I love the shade of green. It is so, so pretty. Y'all know I love green. So any green version of a Telfar, I'm gonna get it. I don't care what shade of green it is, I'm getting it because I love it. But this one is so, so pretty to me. I love this shade. Get into it, get into it. This one still has the freaking paper on it, but you get the point. And the very last one that I have is actually the East Pack collab that Telfar did with them and I just thought that it was so freaking cute. I love like the utility type of look. I don't know streetwear something about it I just really like. So here is the dust bag. It's obviously not the same as a typical Telfar dust bag but of course it's going to be different. It just has a Telfar symbol and then it has the East Pack logo right there and then here is the bag. It is so freaking tiny. It almost looks a little bit smaller than the original small i don't know maybe it's just because it's like a lot on it it has like a little bit of netting on the side and it's like a different material it has like a rope zipper and then it has this strap right here which i just i don't know i just really like the look of this bag i feel like this will look so dope with like some cargo pants some jordan ones or some dunks like a very streetwear type of look so next up we have some yato knot bags you guys know i love 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 their bags i have showed so many of their bags in my last accessories video the first one is this beauty oh my goodness this is so pretty oh my gosh this is so pretty this is like the perfect fall bag i think it's because of the material and the colors but i love this this is so adorable and then the next two i got from i think this is velvet if i'm not mistaken but i got these two there were three colorways i think but i i really like these two this one reminded me of like denim had to get this one. Oh, you guys can see my my head in there and then this one is like a rusty kind of brown a little bit and then it also has the same like tan little 
accents in there and these are just so so pretty these bags are everything okay so we have hella clutches i have clutches in every flavor first up we have miss zebra i feel like this clutch everybody in their mama needs i got this from aliexpress and i have styled this before on my instagram and i also put the link to this on my story as well i do have an outfit highlight so if you ever miss the post and you see in the comments like i tagged it in my story and then it's gone just check the highlights all right but this super cute really nice quality like really nice quality i love this and it just pops open like that snaps closed simple next up we have this cobalt blue and y'all know cobalt blue has me in a choke hold okay this is from asos it is by the brand river island and this is absolutely gorgeous when i seen this i had to get it really quick because y'all know if you see something on asos and you want it you better get it you better get it because it's not going to be there when you come back so definitely snatch this one right up same concept it pops open snaps closed simple love the size of this anytime i find something or a clutch that's not like a little teeny little clutch i hate really 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 tiny clutches like what am i going to put in that so here we have a metallic orange clutch and this i actually got on poshmark so this clutch is originally from zara but like I said, I got it on Poshmark. So I went to go look for it to see if, if it was on Zara. And it was clearly something that they just don't even sell anymore. So I had to get it off Poshmark. I snagged it up real quick because I literally only saw this one and another one on another resale website for sale. So I snatched this up super quick, okay? And this also has a crossbody strap. This bag is literally brand new. So whoever bought this, Thank you for reselling it, sis. All right, so next up we have another clutch, obviously. So this one is a red, and I got this on Etsy. I had my eye on this for a minute. I've been wanting like a Bottega style clutch in general. And when I saw this one, the seller does have like a whole bunch of other colors. You can literally get this in any color that you may be looking for. The next one I think I'm gonna go for is orange. I'm pretty sure, but yeah, this one is from Etsy. And the lady hand makes them herself and then sends them out. Shipping was really quick and this came from overseas. It was super quick. I did style this in a photo as a pop of color, which you guys seen. I'll put it over here, over here, whichever. But yeah, this one I really love and I'm definitely gonna go back and get more colors. So next up we have this hot pink clutch and this is from Pretty Little Thing. And I had to get this because I have been on the hunt for a hot pink clutch. I have not been able to find one and even this one isn't doing it 100% for me only because I didn't really want something that had like texture. This is like, I don't even know the type of material it is, but it is very stretchy, which is weird. I just wanted like a faux leather type of look, hot pink clutch, but I couldn't find one. I actually did find one, but it's out of stock. <laughs> so technically I didn't find one, right? I want more of like a faux leather, Kind of like the other ones that I've shown, but just in hot pink. All right, so this I got in the mail literally right before filming this video. And this is not the bag that I ordered. I got this from ASOS. And ASOS has been tripping lately. Oh, I do really like this bag and I'm probably going to keep it, not going to lie. That's not the point. I didn't order this. I ordered a, it was like a knit material. I'll show it on the screen. This is what I ordered. This is what I got, okay? This is not obviously the same at all. I'm not tripping, okay? At first I was like, am I tripping? No, this is not the same at all. But I do really like this. That doesn't justify the fact that this is not what I ordered, but yeah. So they have these really cute clutches on their website. They have a white one, which I was gonna get, but at this point they might send me the black one, who knows? But this one I like, like I said, but this is not what I ordered. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and return this try to get the other one that I got. See how that turns out. And if I don't get it the next time, then it's just not meant to be clear. So next up we have this clutch and I already featured this in a video, but I had to feature it in this video because this is literally one of my favorite clutches. I love green, right? Like I said, y'all know, I love green. I don't need to say it again, but this shade of green, I have been obsessed with. This is like the Bottega green basically. And that's really, really in especially for the spring and summer, just bright colors in general. So that's why I have so many different colors, but this, I love it so much. Okay. I love the feel of it. It's like a puffer material, kind of like a puffer coat low key. And the size of it is just everything. And then you just open it like that. 
and it has a nice amount of space in here. It's just a really nice clutch. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have this clutch right here. And I got this on, I believe, Mango. Yeah, Mango. I have never purchased anything from Mango. I was on there randomly looking for something and I came across this clutch and it was on sale. And I was like, I need that. I don't know why I needed this, but it's just really cute. Like this is such a like boho type of feel, which is actually gonna be in this spring. So I guess I'm kind of on trend, but this is like a tassel situation on the side. And it's like a freak, it looks like somebody just made this and it's so nice. I love the colors. It is quite flimsy because there's nothing in it, but that's completely fine. And I don't know when I'm gonna wear this because y'all know your girl don't be going nowhere. I don't even go on trips anymore or I never do really. So I need to plan a trip, like for real, for real. Who trying to go? Okay, who trying to go on a trip? Because I need to go. I need to get the F, okay, ASAP. All right, so I switched my pants because y'all, I have been filming since one, maybe a little earlier than that. Probably, let's just go with one p.m. It is almost nine o'clock. So if you're still watching this video, please give a huge thumbs up because this, y'all, not this video, but I've just been recording in general all freaking day. And I wanna get this video done today. So, so give this video a huge thumbs up if you're still here. But now we're gonna move on to the shoes. I have a decent amount, so we're just gonna get right into it. So the first pair we have here are these orange pointed toe lace up heels. And I have been obsessing over this style of heel lately. It's so comfortable, number one. And it's just really nice. Like they're super classy. They look really good with jeans or if you're wearing a skirt or shorts because of the lace up. But they look really nice with like really long jeans because the color just kind of pops out. It looks real grown woman. It looks real good. So I got these in orange. I also got them in this neon yellow color or neon green it's giving a little more yellow on camera but i got them in this color as well because perfect for spring and summer and i love these shoes i have this really cute outfit coming up real soon that i think i'm gonna wear these shoes with it's either these or the orange ones i have to i'm still debating but yeah these also lace up the leg as well i don't think these are the same style of heel because this one has like a sling back and that one does not but they are both from asos so the last pair that i have in the style are silver and these are also from asos these do have the sling back just like the neon yellow one so i think these are the same style as those but these are just silver and i've been loving metallic lately so i had to get these like had to get these just wait until i start posting like looks for real y'all are gonna see a lot of metallic going on with these i also have a look coming up the outfit has been sitting on my clothing rack for months at this point and i just need to wear it so stay tuned okay stay tuned for that okay <laughs> okay hear me out guys hear me out so you guys know i do not wear anything of the sort i don't own a pair of shoes like this whatsoever i do have a couple of platforms which you'll see in a second but for the most part, I never, I don't think I've ever really worn a pair of like this style platform. But when I saw these, something in my mind, when I see things, something in my mind sometimes just starts like the gears start turning and I just start immediately thinking of an outfit. We'll see y'all. I'm still planning the look. I kind of have an idea of how I want to wear these. I already have the pants that I want to wear with these. But I don't know yet. We'll see. So next up, we have these purple heels from Ego. And I have been wanting a pair of purple heels for literally years at this point. For whatever reason, purple heels have not been easy to come by. I don't know what that's about. But when I saw these, I had to get them like with the quickness because I needed a pair of purple heels. Because purple is a color that I want to wear more of. But I could just never find the perfect cute pair of purple heels until I found these. So I got these in purple and I also got them in green because I love them so much. So these are the green, as you can see, it's giving Bottega green. These will look really cute with that. I actually showed these in my Shein lookbook that I just did, the casual one, but these look really cute with the green clutch that I showed you earlier. But I had to get these because I really love this shade of green. And I don't think I have a pair of heels in this shade of green. So I had to snatch these up real quick. And I love them so much. They have a lot of like lacing. It's double straps on each side. So instead of like one strap, it's two on each side. So it's four. So it just gives that really like stacked. Just, I love it. I love these. 
So yeah, definitely check out Ego. I'll have the link down below for these and the purple ones. Last pair of peels I have from Ego are these metallic green. Hopefully y'all can see that. You see the reflection? It's this absolutely gorgeous green. This green is so freaking pretty. And when I saw these, I had to get them. Pretty sure they have these in like a fuchsia metallic pink, but I already have a pair that I'm gonna show you in a second. But these are so gorgeous to me and I cannot wait to wear these. I don't know exactly what I would even wear with these. I don't have anything currently, but a lot of people ask me about like the, like the thong in between the big toe. At first, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little difficult. It'd be a little, a little painful, okay? But once you wear them and you kind of break them in, it kind of loosens up a little bit and then you don't have to worry about that anymore. But initially, yes, it is gonna be a little uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. And I don't think I recommend going a size up because your foot is just gonna slide down into that. So just get your normal size and you should be fine after you wear them a couple times or just wear them around the house to kind of break them in, you know? All right, so next up we have is a pair of pointed toe heels like the ones I showed you earlier. But these are zebra, as you can see, and these are from Boohoo. And Boohoo, I haven't bought anything from them in a minute. I might be asleep, I don't know, y'all let me know. I haven't seen a lot of Boohoo lately, so yeah, I might have to go on there and see what they got. But I did go on there like a month or so ago, and I was looking for something very specific, and I found these shoes, and I was like, I don't even know what I was looking for, but I'm about to get these. So I got these and I really love them. These do also have a sling back and then they also lace up. And these were in my Shein vacation video that I just posted. So yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't. But these are super cute and they're gonna be the perfect like pop of animal prints. So next up we have a shoe that I featured in a reel on my Instagram. I just kind of popped them in. I also posted these on my story asking you guys how to style them because I had a couple of things I would wear with this. That was a while ago at this point, but yeah. These I also featured in my Shein vacation video, so definitely check that out. I did a really cute outfit with these shoes, but these are from ASOS, which I completely forgot about. I meant to show these with the other ASOS shoes, but here they are. As you can see, they have like the swirly, <laughs> slinky situation that just wraps around your leg like a snake so next up we have these pink fuchsia metallic heels and these i actually got on poshmark i don't really even know how i came across these i don't even think i was looking for anything specific when i was on there but i came across the seller who was selling these heels and i'm pretty sure they're out of stock now because i've had these since last year I just completely forgot about them and I was like, oh shoot, I wanna put these in the video because these are gonna be perfect for the upcoming season and the current season as well. So if they are still on your Poshmark, I'll link it down below. But other than that, I have no idea where you can get these shoes from. So next up we have these bad boys right here. And these are from Miss Lola. And you guys went absolutely berserk. When I posted these on my Instagram, I did a pick with Miss Lola. I love working with them. They're like one of my favorite companies to work with. And I picked out this outfit that was in this photo, super last minute. And I was like, oh, I just threw it together. Let's, we'll just see how it turns out. So I'm not gonna lie with these. I don't know if I'm gonna ever wear these again or get any other wear out of them because I don't know, I just feel like I did what I had to do, okay, with these shoes. So they may end up on my Poshmark or my Depop, which is always linked below if you wanna know where I resell my clothes. All right, so next up we have a pair of I don't know which way is correct. Y'all get the point. Yeezy 450s. So as you can see, these are the shoes. They are this really, really pretty green and I just love uh, the 450s. I need to get all of them at this point. They have this like charcoal gray color that just came out and I am dying over them, okay? So I'm probably gonna get those, but these are also some of the most comfortable shoes that I've ever put on my feet in my entire life. I'm not even exaggerating. I get these in a seven and a half. I always get my Yeezys, like the sneakers in a seven and a half. And then for the slides or the foam runners, I get those in a size eight. Okay, so next up, I'm about to put y'all on. Okay. This is one of the sites that I like to go on when I want to get like a really unique, fun style shoe. 
and it is called privileged shoes y'all let me know how you feel about these shoes because i still don't know so these are the heels they have this like red swirly type of strap on top and the bottom portion is a cobalt blue and these are just really different and unique and when i saw these i was like something about it i don't know what it was but i just thought that they were sick different something that i do not have currently in my wardrobe and i've actually had these for about a year now okay i completely forgot about them and i was like these are perfect for this upcoming season and current season because platforms are really really trendy right now and i was like you know what i gotta do something with these y'all might think they're ugly but i like them okay so when you see the pink box you already know what's up okay unless you don't this is hanifa so at this point i think everybody knows what these boots look like as you can see it is black and it does have a square toe on the top and then it has like this detail over the square toe which really just takes the boot over the top like i feel like this just gives it that edge like when you see it you know who it is you know what i mean so i really love these so much and they look really good on they look good with dresses skirts they look good with jeans with this popping out amazing i love these boots so much and i got them in a 39 and a half i got questions about that when i posted the photo i usually wear a 40 but something told me to get a half size down i don't know why i did and they fit me perfectly so i'm not telling you to size down in these shoes because i don't know it just worked for me but I don't know I can't really explain it they just fit me really nicely absolutely gorgeous okay love these so much I had a look already kind of brewing in my mind but I ended up switching completely that outfit and the shoes no longer go with it so I have to start back from square one which is fine I'm really tempted to get these silver ones but I'm trying to hold off these boots are like six hundred and sixty dollars or something like that so it is it is <laughs> okay but i definitely feel like the cream and the black ones are boots that i can have for a lifetime literally and they'll never go out of style so that's why i got these two colors but i'm a little tempted to get the silver ones do i even need to say anything y'all already know what i showed you earlier in the video i'm gonna wear with these boots okay i specifically got that clutch to wear with these boots I cannot wait until I come up with this, the centerpiece, okay? All I have right now is the boots and the bag, but best believe the outfit is coming. These are from Akira, and I had my eye on these for a little while, and I just couldn't justify buying these because it's not something, personally, that I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of, but I just gave, okay? I caved, I got them, I do not regret it at all. I love these boots so much. These are a designer dupe and personally I was not going to get the designer version of these boots because no, if I couldn't justify buying these because I knew I wasn't going to wear them a lot, I'm definitely not going to get the designer version. So I cannot wait to wear these boots. So these boots right here, which you guys just seen on my Instagram in this photo, I found and I'm not going to lie, I found them on a random website overseas and I was like, listen, because y'all know I will search the internet high and low to look for exactly what I'm looking for. And I was looking for this exact color. I don't even remember what I typed in. But I found them on this really random website that I've never heard of. Had no reviews. And I was like, oh, this is what I got. Okay, this is not, I'm not going to say that it is exactly like the photo. The photo is definitely more metallic. This is kind of like a matte metallic, if that makes sense. I'll put the photo up of the boots on the website and then you'll see the difference this one has like a matte sheen to it the other one is like really glossy like the orange metallic boot that i just showed you but i actually didn't mind that i feel like this is better than what i was expecting and the back of it has this really pretty gold zipper going all the way up the back which i thought was a really nice detail and the heel also is gold as well which is really nice and I love these. You put in your measurements, like the measurement of your foot. You don't put like US 9, US 10. It tells you to specifically measure your foot because all of their shoes are made to order. So that's why I was a little nervous, but this is what I got. So I might try out their site 
again for a pair of boots that I have my eye on. I feel like that's when it's gonna all go downhill. I just got lucky at this point, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it again and see how I like it and you guys will know if I do or not. So the very last pair of heels we have are these right here. And these are like a, I would say mustard because it's not like a really bright yellow, but it's also not mustard. It's like right in the middle, I don't know. But these are from Nordstrom and they are by Guess. And I got these because number one, I love the color. And these are also a designer dupe. These are so cute. I style these on my Instagram over here with a cardigan that I showed you guys in a previous collective haul. I was really trying to figure out something to wear with that damn cardigan because I was like, I really need to wear this. I need to hurry up and wear this before it gets hot. And I did, and I found these shoes, and I was like, it's a wrap. Simple, but effective, right? So I love these shoes so, so much. And these are the very last pair of shoes I have in today's video. So we're gonna move on to the jewelry, and then we're gonna be done, okay? We're gonna be done. So you guys pretty much seen all of my sunglasses, like my go-tos in the last video. So I'll have that in the cards and link down below. But recently, I have picked up a few more pairs, and these I actually got from Pretty Little Thing. I really have been wanting some orange square sunglasses. Y'all see that? So I got these and these are really, really cute. I love the shape of these. They are square, but they have like a different type of vibe. Like it's square, but something about it looks a little more unique than your typical square sunglasses. So I love, love, love these. And obviously I gotta take that off, but these are super cute. I love these. Next up we have these bad boys right here. And these are like a, I guess you could say like red or burgundy. And these are from Giant Vintage. These are super delicate, like super thin. So you gotta be very careful. But these are rimless. I wear small glasses sometimes. My head can look a little big. But I really, really like these a lot. As you can see, they are red or burgundy, whatever, and they look really good. I love the look of this. I love the color of these. I cannot wait to wear these. I have a specific outfit that I wanted to wear with these, but I kind of switched it up a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear these with that, but y'all will see these soon. I have three more pairs, but they're all the same. They are from Bottega. And I took a minute to get these because I'm that person who has to really sit on something because, you know, I don't want to make impulse purchases. I stopped doing impulsive things with my shopping. I want to say in the last year, and it's definitely been working because I'll sit on something for a minute before I decide I want it. And sometimes I'll be like, you know what, I don't even really want that. And then there goes $300 I saved, right? So these are the glasses. You guys seen these once. I think I posted these once on my Instagram. And I also posted it in my Shein Casual video with one of the outfits. But these are you see that? They're like a cream color. These are really sturdy, so they're a little difficult to get on sometimes, but this is what they look like. As you can see, they kind of look like goggles a little bit. Currently not all the way on my face because I don't want to mess up my hair, so I just kind of put them on halfway, but these are super cute and they're definitely something I can get a lot of wear out of because of the color. And then I also got them this like mauve pink yeah these aren't on properly because my wig it's like really messing it up as you can see if i push down it kind of like moves so yeah they're not on properly but you get the point they just look like this and they're really cute it's like a mauvey pink and these are going to be perfect for this season especially because of this color last but certainly not least of course i had to go for the green oh my gosh i love this shade of green it is absolutely gorgeous i didn't get close up for the other ones but i'll show y'all close up these are so sick okay it took me a minute to want to fully commit to buying these and i'm so glad that i did and they just make me feel like i have bug eyes or something but yeah these definitely my favorite out of the three so next up we have or last up for sunglasses we have another pair from giant vintage and if you're ever looking for a pair of really like vintage style sunglasses all around from any era, definitely check Giant Vintage. I featured quite a few of their sunglasses in my last video and I love, love, love their sunglasses. I actually wore these in the photo where I was wearing the 450s, which I showed you in this video. And they kind of look green because of the reflection, which I thought was really cool, but they're actually completely clear. 
they just kind of take on the color of whatever you're wearing sometimes right now they look completely clear but this is what they look like up close they kind of have like a brown tint to them but i promise you they are completely clear it may be my skin that's doing that but these are so freaking fire i love these and with that being said i'm leaving these on period because it elevates my outfit right now and like i said it's about 10 o'clock so i'm getting tired and it's gonna start to show so we're gonna keep these on for the sake of the video anyways we're gonna move on to the jewelry because this is the last pair of sunglasses that i have in this video i have some bracelets right here all of these are from plt they have been dropping some like really cute fun unique like abstract style bracelets and i really love them so i got this pair right here i'll put the picture up on the screen but i got this pair right here it's just like a little squiggly pair and it is a thicker one and a really slim one and then this one right here is a cuff and it's silver and it just goes on your wrist like that hopefully y'all can see that and then i have another silver cuff which looks like this and it's just like a squiggly kind of situation and it's really really cool and unique and i've really been loving like weird oddly shaped jewelry lately okay so i already showed these on my story earlier this week i believe but i wanted to show them in this video because i feel like they have some of the best accessories as far as quality goes and these are from hold on let me make sure i don't say it wrong it's v-i-t-a-l-y i don't know if that's vitally we're just gonna say vitally like v in italy vitally or vitally Y'all, I don't know, but I love them. Their brand is amazing and they sent me these actually and I have already purchased items from them and I really love them. They have some really sick, very unique, different style jewelry, unisex, all of it's really nice. So this one right here is a really thick silver chain and it is absolutely sick. And then this one is like a, it's a different style. I don't know the name of what this would be considered but it's not like a typical chain not like a cuban link it's really different that's why i got it okay so next up we have three items from her full lux her full lux i think that's what it's called and basically she sells like designer dupes for a really good price and i got the cartier love bracelet and the cartier ring or the cartier love ring and I got the one with the diamond and the one without the diamond. And I really like these. I honestly didn't notice this until I just looked at it, but I lost a diamond in one of these rings. And I haven't even worn this yet, but sophisticated, classy. You can literally wear this every day. Like the point of this is to not really take it off. But this one looks really nice when I have on something very sleek, very simple. And I just wanna do like a really elegant, classy, very chic jewelry and not too gaudy like the gold bracelets that you guys see me wear a lot. Okay, so next up we have this necklace and I actually saw not this specific necklace, but this brand and a similar necklace on Colleen. And I know you guys probably already know who Colleen is. She is the GOAT, okay? On YouTube and Instagram, she is everything. So I didn't get the specific one that Colleen had on in the photo. I ended up getting a different variation. It was basically the same thing. And I have this really, really, really cute Dylan T from Rick Owens. It's the really deep, deep, deep v-neck that you can wear as a shirt or a dress. And I have this really dope outfit that I want to do. And I wanted a necklace that was pretty long that would go down like the middle of the shirt. And I want to like stack my necklaces. So I'll probably end up wearing this honestly and then wearing this so it can hang down all the way. So this one I thought was really cool. They do have different styles which i'm probably going to go get to be honest because i really like these necklaces and they do have other i think they have rings and other types of necklaces as well not just the crucifix but yeah i really like their stuff it's really nice and different okay so lastly i think this is the last thing we have last but certainly not least we have these bracelets aka anklets for me a lot of people ask me where i get my anklets from and I literally just buy bracelets and put them around my ankles because I feel like anklets never do the job for me. Sometimes I want something very like dramatic and extra. So sometimes anklets don't actually fit me the way I want them to. So I just buy bracelets in different sizes and I always get them in a nine and a half inch. 
I get these on Amazon. I used to wear these as actual bracelets, but I decided to start buying them the length that fits around my ankle and wearing these as anklets because why the hell not? And you can get them in different millimeters. So this one's really slim. Can y'all see that? It's really slim. And then I have one that's a little bit more chunky. This one is 14 millimeters and this one I believe is nine millimeters. So I wanted to get two different sizes to stack them or you can wear one or the other, you can wear both. You could do a lot with these. So I recommend if you want like that really cute kind of extra anklet look, just buy bracelets on Amazon, measure your ankle, of course, measure your ankle and then buy bracelets the length of your ankle and then wear them as anklets. Okay, you guys. That is it. That is the end of this accessories video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just a lot of the stuff that I've picked up for the upcoming season and the current season as well, of course, just to, you know, bring some color into my wardrobe. Y'all know I really want to get more into color and just pops of color and just mixing colors, color blocking, all of that. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. So I wanna do these videos more often, not just like once a year. So if you guys want one of these videos once for each season, then definitely let me know down below. I would love to do that because I do obviously pick up different accessories depending on the season. So with that being said, we're really gonna get out of here for real, for real. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one.